Last week, we set a saltwater fish trap and we caught two big moray eels inside of it. So today, it's finally time to transfer them into their new home, the giant 4,000 gallon saltwater pond. As you guys can see, the fish guys just dropped a brand new shirt. It's the first ever white edition tee that we are dropping and it is absolutely my favorite shirt, I think. Literally, every single time we release a design, it gets better and better. The colors on this thing absolutely pop. Popping. We got that fire green, that blue, that yellow. It looks so good. This is a don't be trashy shirt with a beautiful turtle surfing on the back. So obviously, every single order removes trash from the ocean and we don't want to be trashy. So don't be trashy, ladies and gents, and go check out Fish God Odd Shop. We also got the brand new Save Our Seas Black Edition hats that you guys absolutely love. There's still a few left on the site, so if you want to get those, those remove trash from the ocean as well. Let's save our seas and don't be trashy all together, and that is a recipe for success, baby. Now let's get these eels in the pond. Guys, we're at the literal eel aquarium at this moment in time. We got three eels inside here, two green mores and a yellow edge, yellow spot, some Japanese type looking eel. I love it. That's pretty cool looking though. They all sit right next to each other too. They're all three of them yeah. in the same exact cave, all chilling right next to each other. It's actually pretty cool to keep them in here, but we're gonna be moving them to the giant saltwater pond. It's gonna be a challenging one for the fish guys here because we know we have a huge rock structure and as you guys all know, we caught these eels inside rocks and let alone to get them to catch them in the wild, it's even harder to do it in your aquarium, okay? Yeah, right. So we gotta try and get these guys out as smoothly as possible. Oh! <laughs> You got this, you got this, Chris. Come on, Chris. I'm testing my fish guy abilities with this miniature ass net. Double nets, forget about it. Should be good here, should be Double, good. double. Double net, teamwork makes the dream work, baby. We are so good Gosh, at what we do. Money. I mean, we could be top top two, top three. Money central. Top three ever net or aquariumists. Aquarium. Guys, I only see one other eel inside there, unless no, he's in this there. cluster. I spent time building that rock structure <laughs> and it's ruined. Yeah, yeah, fish guy Jack on the mic, about to go spit some Bud Light. I'm gonna block this entrance here. Oh, oh my god. I think that's our guy. I yeah, think that's, that's our guy. guy. That's our guy. That's our guy. They are mad. Look at the face on that thing. <laughs> Green Morios don't play games. Yes. Flipping. Flipping. Heard that. Heard that. Scooping. Scooping. Watch your arm. He's out. Ah. I mean double. We need oh my god. Did he get you? No, I didn't see him. <laughs> oh, man. Jack, block over there. This is getting dangerous. Head. Head. Jack. Got a head here. Oh, he's biting. He's biting? He's biting the net. Okay. That's honestly a nice looking tank. <laughs> right? This is nice. Good rock structure. Good water quality. Yeah. Super clear. Going up, going up. Double teaming. Double teamed. Go, double teamed. Double got it. Let's double got go. it. Let's go. God! Two new eels, baby. Let's Woo! Go. They're gonna be much happier in a giant, literally, ocean. Let's go. Guys, we got our two eels in here. Big boys! But there's a problem. A big problem, okay? Pan's favorite meal is eels. It's like spaghetti. So we needed him to be literally at the level of explosion. And we have to check out our brand new horn shark that we got in last week's video. We're gonna try to feed him today. He's been very shy. He's been in the rocks, just chilling. So we're gonna try to entice him towards the food. Let's do it. Shout out to Big Phoenix. This comment has 176 likes with 24 replies. And he said his name has to be Hurricane. I 100% agree, Hurricane the horn shark, because he literally flew through Hurricane Ian, and we had to pick him up at the airport. So Hurricane is the brand new horn shark's name. So shout out to Big Phoenix. His name is officially Hurricane. It's time to whip up some soup. I've been, you know, stirring it up with some garlic, with some shrimp, with yeah. some tilapia, a little bit of water mixture, and this makes for, you know, just the ultimate feeding time for these fish. That garlic keeps those fish nice and healthy right with here. their immune system. This Look is at a, that. This is a fish guy secret. Use that, garlic. You gotta use Always garlic, y'all. keeps yo. the fish healthy. Keeps so, them nice and healthy. We're gonna see if Hurricane wants to eat. He's the man, he's sitting in the rocks right now and uh, he kinda looks really cozy. So we're gonna see if he wants to swim out and eat. We gotta try and feed this guy. Look at that succulent, succulent of a shrimp. Hurricane's favorite food, let's feed him. He's literally hiding in the, I'm not even gonna be able to reach it, that's the thing. Yeah, he's literally in the rocks. I guys. can't even reach it. That's, that's, his, that. that's his favorite spot is right inside those rocks. He just looks, oh. he seems cozy in there. He likes to sit either there or literally inside of the center blocks. That's his favorite spots. So it's really hard to reach him, but we're gonna try our best to try to get this guy some food. He should start swimming around once he smells that garlic shrimp. That but that's a, that's a good that toss. Work. It's on his fin. It's right next to Hurricane's fin, so we're gonna see if he wants to turn around and eat that. He's been really shy, like I said. He's been really shy. He likes to just hang out in the rocks. It's taken him a little while to get comfortable in here. But he, so far, has found some nice spots just around the reef. 
And here comes the eel. Every time we try to feed the shark, here comes the eel to steal the party. There he goes. Just took it right back into the rocks. That's gonna be, it's gonna be even harder to feed everything in here because we're adding two exotic eels to the pond and the eels are just relentless. It's time to feed the giants, the ultimate literal bumblebee grouper. I mean, this fish right here that you guys are seeing underwater is every bit of 10 plus pounds and we have one even bigger inside here. Let's see, you want a nice piece of tilapia? Suck it down and then Pans gets jealous. He's like, hmm. Look at that guys, I mean, come on. That is a filet that puts into freaking perspective how big this fish is. His mouth, come on. Oh, we got soaked and so did the camera. That's why I love these fish. They are the ultimate aggressive fish. Oh, Absolutely love these guys. Now guys, I want you to go back in the old videos and look at Pans when we first got him. He looks like a totally different fish. I mean, literally it looks like we replaced him with an all white grouper. That is him changing colors to become platinum. I don't know how it's possible, but it's freaking epic. Ooh, Smoked it. Such Smoked a beast. It. You can't get anything more rare than that. Like, literally, never seen before platinum grouper. Like, what? Here he goes. Ah, nice little, you know, basically french fries for him. We got a bunch of these shrimps here. The hurricane should absolutely munch. What I think our best bet is, is that we just throw a bunch of them in there. Hurricane smelt some shrimp and he turned his head actually outside of the rock, so that's good. He's definitely moving around, but I did notice he's way more active at night. So I'm gonna have to probably bring the camera in at night to try to feed him, because he's way more active. I think he's nocturnal. I think he likes to sleep during the day, but we're gonna try now that he's close enough to get a shrimp in his belly. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to bring this shrimp over to him. Come on, come on, Hurricane. Oh, oh. he blew it away. So the shrimp is right underneath him, and I think he's literally still sleeping. So we're gonna <laughs> still keep an eye on that shrimp, but it's right under his mouth. If he wants to eat, once he wants to suck it down, he will. So we're just gonna keep an eye on it. Now, let's get our brand new eels in the pond. I think we make our way over to our bucket where we got some more exotics, guys. Some more exotics to add in here. We got probably the coolest one right here. Two more eels, okay? We don't really know exactly what it is. I saw some comments that said yellow edge or yellow spot. Looks more like a yellow edge to me, but they're both good size and they're gonna do so well in there. Guys, we got the hook out of the yellow spotted mora eel. You guys could see it earlier in the video. He still had that hook in his mouth. We just got it out. It literally fell out. Fell it was out. barely even stuck into his jaw. That's how hooks usually work. They usually fall out after being in there for a while. And this guy was barely in there. So Dude. we got it out with a piece of scissors. Actually. I think we should keep this hook in honor of him. Well, we should keep it. Maybe we should name him the hooker. Maybe. He's the hooker of the pond. Nah, yeah, that's a good idea. He is a hooker. Let's get our green mora eel in the pond. The brand new baby small guy. Let's get him in the pond. All right, Mr. Eel. Mr. Green Mora, come here. These guys, these are literally one of the hardest things to ever net in your entire life. Like, they can swim up and down, side to side, forward, backward. Nice. Beauty, dude. You know what I actually learned? Look at that. Is that the mucus on the outside of their skin, their slime is what makes them green. <laughs> Other than that, they had none of it, they're blue. Really? Yeah. You know who told me that? Daryl. Shout out Daryl. Here we go, he's gonna go right out. Where's he gonna swim to? Hopefully the rocks, there he goes. There he goes, let's go baby. You should go that the, the other way, buddy. They always take the cruiser around the pond first before they go to the rocks. It's just the way they do it. There First, he goes. He's there he goes. It. Straight to the rocks, next to the shark. Good size, perfect size actually. Not too big, not too small. Green Morris, gotta love him guys, you gotta love him. I can't wait to see the other one go inside here. He's actually chilling right next to Hurricane, the, the horn shark. He's just right next to him. He found the rock, they're in there together. They're in the little rock together, just chilling. They're snuggling. Guys, on to our second eel here. Luckily, we did remove that hook, and look at him. He's just looking right up at us. He's like, he's ready for strike. Because you know what, we, we were kind of chasing him around a little bit to get that hook out, but literally, as soon as we grabbed it, thing plopped right out. Dude, look at that pattern on him. Dude, like, he's fat as cr crap. He is, like, so fat. He's a double fit, he's a double hander. That'll be the biggest eel we have in here, for sure. He is so cool. No doubt, look at that. There he Let's goes. Go. Whoa, Let's go. bro. He's Sick. a unit. He's My a God. big boy. He's a unit. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. God, he's huge. He's the biggest thing we have in here now. He's bigger than the grouper lengthwise. Obviously not fatness, but that is so cool. It's like a leopard printed purple yellow eel. I've honestly never seen one like that, even at the fish stores, and it was locally caught. He's beautiful. The eel's going right next to Hurricane the horn shark, again, they just love him. They smell him, they go right up to him, they think he's comfort, but this guy's seriously got some girth. He's, he's pretty freaking big, extra large. 
He's going right where the other green moray eel went. Literally exactly in the same rock. Does not like that. <laughs> He's getting very upset, taking all of his spots. But a really cool addition, two cool additions to the pond. I'm really loving that yellow eel, the yellow and black eel. He's really cool. We need some creative names for him down in the comments. So drop them down below, because these guys are super cool. We want to name everything in the pond. We got pots, pans, hurricane. We got some cool names so far in the pond. So let's get another good one. And guys, just to let you all know, we just restocked all the performance shirts. They cut the plastic and the vitamin C in all sizes. So last time they went super quick. Go get them quickly. Every single item we sell on Fish Guy Shop, we remove trash from the ocean. We appreciate the heck out of you guys. We'll catch you all in that next one. Peace out.